thanks to AG1 for sponsoring this video. So 2023 was a great year for testing out and reviewing new running shoes here at the channel. We saw lots of advancements in running shoe tech, whether it be new models to market like the deeply cushioned Brooks Ghost Max, or just updates to existing models like the awesome Merrill Agility Peak 5, one of my standout trail running shoes of the year. So 2023 was a very strong year, but we're already hearing whispers, we're seeing leaked photos of what's to come running shoe wise next year and it's getting me all fired up for another great year of testing so let's dive into the video and take a look at my must-have running shoes of 2024. Welcome back folks and welcome back to a new year here at the channel. I'm Lloyd Purvis and this is Run For Adventure. So every year we try and outdo the last when it comes to the sort of content we create and with all the plans we've already got in place for 2024 when it comes to traveling, races and videos, it looks like it's gonna be a mega year. And we have got lots of exciting running adventures lined up and we really can't wait to bring you guys along with us. A big part of this year is gonna be testing out as much running gear as possible for you guys at home and then bringing you fun, interesting, but most importantly, informative review videos to sort of help you out when it comes to handing over your hard earned cash for maybe your next pair of running shoes or a new waterproof jacket. Speaking of shoes, let's see what's caught my eye as far as new road running and trail running shoes we can expect to see launching this year. So the first one is a carbon plated performance road running shoe from the New Balance brand and it is their Fuel Cell Super Comp Elite V4. Now this shoe has gone through a massive update this time round and is pretty much a brand new running shoe from the ground up. So let's take a look at the specs in a bit more detail. The Elite V4 is going to release around about February 2024 and it's going to retail for $250. For our UK audience, it's going to cost around about £230. So again, a pretty pricey running shoe, that's for sure. Weight-wise, it's going to tip the scales at 223 grams or 7.85 ounces in a US 8.5. And it runs off a 4mm drop with a stack height of 40mm on the heel and 36mm under the forefoot. As far as construction goes, the Elite V4 gets a new Piba midsole with some pretty cool looking angular geometry going on. The upper looks extremely lightweight and breathable. In fact, it's pretty much transparent and New Balance have used bonded technology to keep the weight down to a bare minimum. We got some overlays wrapping around the midfoot, the lace eyelets and the wrapping around the heel of that upper just to give the shoe a bit of substance and support. And then if we take a look at the bottom of the shoe, you can see that we've still got New Balance's Energy Art technology worked in, but we do have a slightly redesigned outsole. So it looks like the carbon plated super shoe craze is gonna carry on this year. And I'm actually gonna try and race a lot more on the road so I can test out as many of these performance shoes on the channel and give you guys some in-depth reviews. But we are heading back to the trails for the next shoe. And in particular, it is Hoka trail running shoes. And Looks like the brand's gonna have a very busy year and we are already seeing pictures of some uh, big updates to some of their most iconic and most popular trail shoes, including the Speedgoat with the Speedgoat 6. So this is gonna have a lighter midsole construction and a reworked woven upper. So that new, more resilient, lightweight foam in the midsole construction is gonna bring the overall weight of the shoe down by 14 grams. So the Spigo 6 is gonna weigh 278 grams. That new, super breathable, woven textile upper has actually got a built-in chassis with a dual gusseted tongue. So that should make you feel well hugged around the midfoot, keeping you nice and secure in that upper so you feel well planted and stable when you're running on textile technical trails. The outsole design looks very similar to the current Speedgoat model, so we've still got that 5mm lug depth with that multi-directional design. Very happy to see that Hoka has still gone for the brilliant Vibra Mega Grip rubber. Uh, unfortunately, you're going to have to wait a bit of time to get a pair of the new Speedgoat 6s on your feet because they're due to launch later in the year around July time and they're going to retail for around about $155 or £145 here in the UK. 
We are going back to the Rose now, and it's actually a shoe from the Brooks brand that I'm really looking forward to testing out this year. And where's the, where's the shoe gone? What's this doing in here? When myself and Lee were heading back from our European road trip this year, we were having a chat and we thought it would be a good idea to try and get some more vitamins and minerals in our diet. After getting pretty run down towards the end of the trip and feeling quite poorly on the way home, and we've been using AG1 every morning ever since we got back and we're really noticing a positive difference. AG1 contains your essential vitamins, minerals, botanicals, and bacterial cultures to help support your daily nutrition alongside a, a well-balanced, varied diet. But this is so much more than a, a multivitamin or a powdered green drink because it's actually a foundational nutritional supplement that tastes tastes really good while helping to support my immune system, my metabolism, and my mental and physical health. It's super easy to use, so what I do is add one scoop or one of the handy travel sachets every morning to 250 to 350 ml of water. Give it a quick shake and it is ready to go. So it couldn't be any simpler. Uh, it's produced in a TGA registered facility and it's actually NSF certified for sport. So you can rest assured that you are drinking quality ingredients as part of your daily nutritional routine. As runners pushing hard in training and racing, I personally feel that quite often I'm walking a very fine line when it comes to keeping fit and healthy and using AG1 every morning has really given me a big lift. So if you're interested in finding out more information about this foundational nutritional supplement, I have left a link in the description below. Got to say a massive shout out to AG1 for sponsoring this video because it really is a big help to the channel. But let's get back to those running shoes. So like I mentioned, we are taking a look at a Brooks Road running shoe and it's actually a performance shoe and a model that I've never run in before. But the update coming in 2024 looks super interesting and it is their new Hyperion Elite V4. Looks like Brooks are having a massive push this year when it comes to their road running and trail running shoes. And there's definitely some very interesting models launching in 2024 and the new Hyperion is one of them. Brooks pitched this shoe as their performance marathon day shoe, but it's now gonna get an updated nitrogen infused DNA flash V2 midsole, just to help reduce the overall weight of the shoe a bit, but also to make it feel a bit more responsive underfoot. Looks like it comes with a super stripped back, highly breathable upper. The Brooks claims gives a bit more of a better lockdown around that midfoot, giving you that sort of comfortable no shoe feel. As far as weight goes, it's gonna be pretty light. So weighing in 192 grams or 6.7 ounces in a women's sample size. So around about a UK six. It's gonna be launching February this year and it's gonna retail for $250 or 200 pounds here in the UK. One of my favorite running shoe brands up next and it is Saucony and just like all the other brands we're seeing they have got a lot going on in 2024 but two of the models that really stood out for me uh, number one is the Triumph 22 road running shoe because that's going through a massive update and of course the very exciting Exodus Ultra 3. So let's start off with one of my favorite trail running shoes of all time, the Exodus Ultra. Now, a lot of you guys will know I was a massive fan of the original shoe and it helped me through lots of tough, challenging training and racing miles. And I actually popped them on the other day. We're doing a little bit of filming outside, so I chucked them on and I couldn't believe how comfortable that shoe still feels. Great underfoot, fits my foot shape really well. And that pair had done over 400 miles. Uh, I really enjoyed the update to the Ultra 2. Uh, not as much as the original shoe, but still a great shoe to run in. So really interested to see how the threes feel and perform. And by the looks of the pictures, there's been some big updates. I'm glad to see that Saucony have stuck with that dual compound midsole construction that I loved on the previous two versions. So we've got standard power run foam around the outside for stability. And then we've got that internal core of their performance based foam power run PB for cushioning and energy return. However, we are seeing an increase on stack height this time around. So we've actually got 36 mil under the heel and 30 mil under your forefoot, giving you that same six mil heel offset as before. 
Socony have actually widened that platform and they made the sidewalls a little bit higher. So you're now gonna sit a little bit deeper in that midsole platform to hopefully give you a more sort of stable ride when you're on the technical stuff. Unfortunately, with that stack height being higher and the platform wider, there is a bit of a weight increase, which I've gotta be honest, I'm never a big fan of when it comes to running shoes, but it is only a very subtle weight increase in the new Exodus 3. So it's gonna be around about 14 grams heavier. The outsole has gone through a few subtle tweaks along the way, which I'm not really that sure about. So you now get a shallower lug depth of four mil compared to the 4.5 mil of the previous version. Uh, I'm really not sure how it's gonna handle a wet, muddy UK winter with that shallower lug depth, but Socony claim it's to help with the durability of that rubber compound and to give you better wet weather traction. So it's gonna be super interesting to test the shoe out and review them on the channel. Uh, the Exodus Ultra 3 is gonna be available uh, April time in the UK. It's gonna cost around 150 pounds or 160 Moving on to the Triumph and its update for 2024. And I personally think this is a big move by the Socony brand because they're actually gonna move away from the Power Run Plus foam that they've used in quite a few models of the Triumph over the years. And it is now getting a big upgrade to their lighter, more responsive Power Run PB foam this time round. Now, I am a big fan of the Power Run PB foam and Socony have used it in a lot of their performance road running shoes over the years, including the Endorphin Speed and the brilliant Endorphin Pro. So it's quite interesting to see them using it in what is a sort of daily trainer. Now, Socony do say that they're using a slightly different, more sort of durable blend of the Power Run PB foam compared to what you'd get in the Endorphin lineup. So it should hold up to all those training miles really well. We're gonna be getting a stack high of 37 mil at the heel and 27 millimeters under the forefoot, giving the Triumph a 10 mil drop. Weight-wise, they're gonna weigh in at 286 grams or 10.1 ounces in a US 9. And we should see them release May 2024, retailing around about 170 pounds. So you can see there is lots of exciting new models and updates heading our way this year when it comes to running shoes. And I think it's gonna be very busy trying to test and review as many of them as possible. But this is just the tip of the iceberg. So keep your eyes peeled for Must Have Running Shoes of 2024 Part Two, where we're gonna talk all about new releases from ASICs, Nike, Adidas, and some more exciting trail running shoes from Hoka, including the new update to the Tecton, the Tecton X3. This shoe looks awesome. It's had a massive update, and it was actually a prototype of this shoe that was worn by Jim Wormsley when he won UTMB last year. But for now, guys, really hope you enjoyed the video. Really hope you found it helpful. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. We will be back on the channel very, very soon. And as always, stay safe and keep on running. Happy New Year. So 2023 was a great year for testing out new running shoes here at the channel. We saw lots of advancements, advancements, <laughs> no. Brand new models to market like the deeply cushioned Brooks Ghost Max, or just updates to existing shoes like the awesome Merrill Agility Peak, Agility? <laughs> Agility, yeah, the midsole made out of this jelly-like fluid. So as you're running on uneven ground, it stays nice and stable and gives you lots of underfoot protection. No.